Morning. Great to see you once again, those of you who have joined. Sorry that we started just a tiny little bit late, but you know how it goes nowadays. Hey, welcome back to our coding club in our third week, and we are almost at the very end of our coding club journey together for now. You're going to hear about some other things that, that should pop up, and, and hopefully will be nice and exciting as we go. Okay, so for, so for those of you who haven't joined us before, in case you are wondering, I'm Mr. Olson, Mr. O, Mr. O, ah, I don't know. <laughs> Before we get too far into our session and recapping and starting some new stuff, like how does the internet work and all that, we are going to have a very, very special session tomorrow afternoon. So we'll still have our session in the morning like we do normally tomorrow morning. But in the afternoon, we've also got such a special one where we have got a few special guests who are gonna be joining us. So this is gonna to be tomorrow on Friday from three until 4 p.m. So that's in the afternoon. We are going to have the Minister of Communications. Honorable Minister Stella Ndabeni Abrahams is going to join us, hear about what we've been learning, about what we've been doing, because you guys have been like pioneers, coding explorers. And she wants to hear about everything that we've been doing and that we have been learning. We are also going to have a very, very, very smart lady, a programmer, joining us, someone called Marion Croak. And she is the vice president reliability engineering for ads that, that's at, at google she's a corporate uh, she's all about corporate engineering uh, and youtube i'm sure that you guys have heard about youtube and google well she works there she has also helped to invent to create some really really Hopefully we're going to hear more about that and they are going to be hearing about what we've been doing and we can teach them all about the internet and coding and maybe do some really cool things like that. So please do make sure that you come along to that. Uh, if you're unsure, if you haven't got any notifications by email or anything like that, then you're welcome to let me know or you can even check uh, the website Africa Teen Geeks or info at uh, africateengeeks.co.za. Okay, so that one is going to be an awesome one for you to come along and for your moms and dads to come along too please then we'll have a chance to chat about that all right now that that is out of the way let's remind ourselves that this week we're investigating robots meet mop robots huh. and let's get our brains working nicely as i ask a question that i'm sure you're gonna know and that is what is a robot who remembers what a robot is? Does anybody remember what a robot is? Ah, see that Kaylee remembers what a robot is. I wonder, Let, let's hear. Good morning, Kaylee. And do you remember what a robot is? I do remember what a robot is. It is a mm -hmm. machine that can do stuff for us and even better. Whoa, I love that. So uh, a robot is a machine that can do stuff for us and, and it can do it even better than us a whole lot of the time. Like we saw with some of the robots yesterday that could lift up incredibly heavy things and drive around on the moon or Mars. Whoa, those are really cool robots. And let me ask you now, now, now that you've started thinking, hmm, okay, why do we use robots? Why do we, do we need them? Should we just ignore them and not use them at all? Huh, why do we even use or, or have robots? What do you guys think? Let's hear this. Oh, Rafilwe, yes. Good morning, Rafilwe. Why do you think we use robots? Because maybe if we make a mess and we can't clean them and they are long, the robots will come and help. Oh, wouldn't that be awesome if you make this huge, huge mess because you've been playing with lots of toys or outside and you come in and you're all full of mud and you just kind of, you know, chuck your, your coats on the floor that's full of mud and you hear mom and dad say, hey, hey, are you going to clean that up? I'm not going to clean that up. You clean? And then imagine if you could just get a robot to do that for you. That would actually be pretty cool. I think I would like that. Yes, Kaylee. Uh, Katie, why do you think we use robots? Um, we, they can help us. 
Mm, they can help us. Yes, they can help us with lots of things, sometimes with really big things and sometimes with really small things as well, things that we maybe don't even realize. That's very, very cool. All right. And so that, that's what Dennis and I were thinking. We were thinking about why do we use robots? And do you remember that yesterday we spoke all about Iziyama, the engineer? and the engineering process that Iziyama takes when she wants to do something or to fix something. Do you remember those five things that she says we, we should do? We remember together, remember touching eyes, touching head, hands. Oh, okay. I think Khanya might remember. Good morning, Khanya. Yes, do you remember the engineering process that Iziyama uses? Yes, I do. Do you? Okay, do you want to say it for us? Yes, please. Yeah, okay, okay. Look carefully so. at what is going on. Yes. And, and also think. rub your hands. Think, think first. And then yes. after thinking how we can, we can fix it. And then yes. rub your hands and say, make it. Make and it, then you make look it. Again, and you yes. look again. If so it's if it working, works, yeah. then you Good. tell someone. <gasps> Wowzers, trousers, that was awesome. Well done on remembering that. That's a whole lot to remember. Let, let's hear if Kaylee remembers it as well. And then we're going to say it through together one more time. Uh, and then we're going to carry on with what, we, what other stuff we're doing today. Okay. Yes, yes I do remember. Oh, I okay, do let's remember. Look carefully at the problem. Yes. Thinking, think what mm -hmm. you can do. Good. Third, make it, make it. Oh, I like that one. Four, yes. Make sure it works. Good. And fifth, yes. Tell someone. Wow. Well done on remembering those five steps that we use if we want to solve a problem, an engineering problem, even. And maybe we could make a robot to fix something. Okay, great. So let's say this once together. I'll say it once through and then we'll say it together. So one is touch eyes, look carefully at what's happening. Two, touch your head, think of ways to fix it. Three, rub your hands, make it, make it. Four, Touch your eyes again, check if it works. And five, touch your mouth, tell someone. Okay, are you ready for us to do it together? Oh, fantastic. Okay, uh, and thank you so much to uh, Ikhloma's parents uh, for letting us know that you're not joining us today. Remember, these sessions are recorded. So if you would like, then, okay, um, then I will send you that link before we go. Okay, thank you so much for that. I will send you our YouTube link. Okay. All right. So let's do this one together. Okay. We're going to start from number one. We're going to start in three, two, one. One, look carefully at what's happening. Two, think of ways to fix it. Three, make it, make it. Four, check if it works. And five, tell someone. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, well done on doing that account. I hope that you're going to remember that because that is a really, really helpful one if you want to solve a problem around the house. Okay, but today we are going to be carrying on with something else. We're going to be looking specifically at staying safe online and on the internet. Oh, I'm sure you guys have heard of this thing called the internet. Huh. What? is the internet. Does anybody know what the internet is? Have you heard of it? Maybe you can even tell us some of the things that you do with the internet. Okay, I see a few hands coming up. That's cool. Okay, let's go to who we're going to go to first. Okay, let's hear from Kanya first. Yes, good morning, Kanya. And do you know what is the internet? It's, it's Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Oh. Oh, Wi-Fi. Okay, very interesting. So uh, it has something to do with Wi-Fi, with, you know, we're able to use a, a device that's not even plugged in to a router or, or to any kind of hard line or something. That's pretty amazing. Okay, let's hear from Kanya now. Yes, Kanya, what do you think the internet is? What do you know about the internet? 
It's a data and a data where you can take whatever you like, or songs, or or video, or video games, or PJ Masks. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! Yes, absolutely. It's a, it's a way for us to connect, and we 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 get data, and we use data, and we send data, and receive data, and it's all that. And we can watch videos, and listen to music, and look at pictures, and you know we're using the internet right now to hear each other and to share screens. Whoa! Okay, let's hear from Sipesikle. Yes, good morning, Sipesikle. Do you know something about the internet? No. 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 And it. <laughs> electricity goes loop nothing is gonna work with no electricity fantastic thank you yes we need electricity somewhere for the internet to work there needs to be some kind of so electricity once again is such a big part of this whole process very interesting thinking. Thank you for adding that. And then someone who has a label of me, uh, M greater than E. <laughs> yes, good morning. What do you know about the internet? Are you there with us? Hello, Uncle Bash. Yes. Uh, I know about the internet. You can use it for um, searching games and Ooh, downloading right. games. Oh, good. Okay, so so the, the internet has something to do also with downloading and, and looking and download. That sounds kind of like it's a loading off, like a putting on. So it's taking something from someone and then putting it where, where you have it. And it could be for games. It could be for a bunch of things. Very interesting thinking. Well done. And let's hear from Simba. Yes, Simba, what would you say? What is the internet? Or what do you use the internet for? For all kind of videos oh, for videos yes and I, I still think that's absolutely amazing that we can look at videos and even see videos from far away something that somebody else filmed you know long ago or right now and it wow okay it's really exciting and it's really really cool so in order to understand the internet just a little bit better i've i've coded a little something i'm going to talk us through the code and we're also going to be able to explore it a little bit together. Okay, so I've opened up Scratch here. I hope that you can see that nicely. I'm going to just try to make sure that it's nice and big. There we go. Okay, so here we are in Scratch Junior. And we're going to come over to this project over here. And in this project over here, we have got Tick. And we've also got a computer. Computer. Now, this is at the library, but as we know, we can have computers get all around and we can even access the internet all around, which is just absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's just have a quick look through some of this code. Okay, so Tech has got some code there. We've got some extra scenes. Okay, let, let's just see what our program does and then we can talk through it. So remember, this is Tech over here. So I'm going to tap the green flag. Let's see. Oh, Tick is searching. How do I build a robot? Whoa, whoa. And then there was one computer. Did you, did you guys see that? That went really quickly. Okay, so what's going to happen is Tick is going to come over to the computer and Tick is going to search. How do I make a robot? That, that, that's what he wants to find out. And maybe he wants to watch a video or something like that. And as soon as he does that, look what happens. It happens so, so quickly. Okay, uh, Tick, did you do it? Tick, why didn't you do it? Oh, because Tick is right at the end there. Okay, let's go to the start of this, to our first scene over here. And let's see again. How do I build a robot is what Tick says. And then, whoa, look at that, look at that. There's something that's traveling from the one computer to another computer and then coming back. Whoa, okay, let's look at this screen just a little bit more carefully over here. Okay, so on this screen, we have Tick's computer here on the left-hand side. And we've got another computer somewhere else on the other side of the world or, or, or maybe close by. And what we've got is this kind of star looking thing. And what the star is, is the data of what Tick is asking. So Tick is asking something on the one computer. And as soon as Tick pushes send or pushes enter in Google or some other search engine or YouTube or whatever it might be, then that 
data is being sent. Now, this could be starting off with Wi-Fi, which is a, a, a wireless signal. There are these funny waves all around us sending data like that. And then it connects to a line, and that could be a fiber line or broadband, which is more signal. Either way, it connects and it sends that data all the way across the world or somewhere to another computer generally called a server, goes through a few other steps, but it goes all the way to a server, to another computer where that information is. Then it gets that information and it sends it all the way back over here. So let's have a look just from this over here what that looks like. So Tick sends that message, gets that data, and then it comes back. And did you know that's all that the internet is? The internet is us getting information and data and being able to do things on another computer and then getting that information back to our computer. That's all it is. Did you know that? Oh, I think that's really, really cool. Okay, so let's look just one last time at this program and then I'm gonna ask you if you can also explain what you think the internet is based on what I've said over here and on what we have seen. So we're gonna see Tick going over to his computer over here in the library, typing a message and asking a question and then pushing send. And then that's gonna to go to another computer, get that information, and then it's going to come back to Tick's computer and he'll have the information. Let's see it one more time. Okay, here we go, Tick goes to the computer. How do I build a robot? Send. And there goes the data so quickly to that other computer and then back to Tick's computer. And now Tick knows and can learn how to build a robot. And that's all that the internet is. Well, it's not all, I mean, it's really complicated, but that is very simply what it is. Hmm. So now let, let's hear if you are listening nicely. Who can tell us what is the internet now? Does anyone know? Can you summarize it? Can, can you say kind of uh, in a short way how you understand the internet now? Let's see if, if you do, okay. Let's hear from Rafilwe. Yes, good morning, Rafilwe. And do you know what the internet is now a little bit more? It, it is something that, that gives you information. Good, yes, and we get that information from other computers that might be somewhere else on the other side of the world or in a server that's in South Africa, another computer that is not where we are, and we get information from it. Good, and yes, Kaylee, what do you understand about the internet now? I understand that it starts and it comes from one computer to another computer. Oh, fantastic. That is a really nice summary of what the internet is. And what's really cool about this is that we can then help lots of people with data, with information. We can even create that information or those videos, and, and that could help lots of other people all over the world. I, I really, really like how that sounds. Uh, but now what you might do is just kind of think of, okay, the internet, well, that's just got all the data everywhere and that's great. So I can just go anywhere on the internet and do whatever I want. But just like a neighborhood that you live in, it's, it might not be safe or might not be good to just kind of walk out and then just start walking across the street and, you know, going off and not even knowing where you're going because you, your mommy and daddy might miss you. If you did that, that would be a terrible thing to do. So just like if we wanted to go to uh, somewhere, we need to be safe. Okay, so now what we need to discover then is how do we stay safe online? Can anybody think of any ways that we could use the internet safely and be safe while using the internet? How do you use the internet? Anyone out there who uses the internet nice and safely or have some ideas that could help us with staying safe while using the internet? Okay, let's hear from a few. Oh, okay, a few people do use the internet. Uh, uh, Rafilway again, yes, Rafilway, how do you use the internet nice and safely? Um, ask mom and dad. Oh, 
Fantastic. Well done. You always, always, always ask mom and dad. Fantastic thinking. Yes, Kanya, how do you stay safe while using the internet? Don't go to places that you don't know, but you can also ask your granny. Oh, good thing. Yes, of course. You can ask your granny or auntie or uncle, whoever is there with you. And you've really got to go to safe places on the internet. Just like if you were just walking around outside, you wouldn't just walk onto a highway where there are lots and lots of cars. That would be dangerous. That's not a good place to walk. So there are going to be some places on the internet where it is not good to uh, walk or to go, we could say. Okay, let's hear. Yes, Kaylee, how do you stay safe on the internet or while using the internet? I stay safe on the internet by telling my mommy and daddy where, what I'm doing. Oh, fantastic. I'm not yes. Oh, sorry, I cut you short there. Sorry, Kaylee, please say again. Without speaking to strangers well done oh you're really bringing such good ideas that, that we're gonna that we're gonna remember together oh well done on that and then let's hear from <laughs> me whoever's labeled as me yes good morning again and how do you stay safe on the you internet stay safe on the internet you stay safe on the internet if you go on the highway a car will crash you down in a few if you go and ride in bike uh mm -hmm. in the middle of the road absolutely and just like if we wanted to just like riding a bike well that's fun and going outside well that's really really fun but we have to be safe otherwise yes we could get hurt by a car whoa so just like we've got to be safe when we go outside we've got to be safe when we use the internet okay specifically yes good morning and how do you stay safe when you use the internet um I don't talk to anything that I don't know. And oh, um, yes. um, if I see something just coming, um, I'll stop. And good, yes. Oh, that, that's so brilliant. Yes, when you see something that's, that's not good, you stop straight away. And oh, you said you don't talk to people who you don't know. Oh. Well done. Okay, let's hear from Mpo. Yes, Mpo. How do you stay safe on the internet or online? I, ask, I, I, I watch YouTube and I ask my mom. Mm, good. Okay, you ask your mom. And, you know, and sometimes you can see some, some things that are funny and that make you feel ugly. And we, we need to know what to do that, what to do about that and how to decide what is good and what isn't. Good. Okay. Fantastic. Let's hear from Sibesikle just one more time. Yes, Sibesikle, how else do you stay safe on the internet? And then when a car passes, I walk in the walk past the road. And um, when I see uh, um, <laughs> a limit or a stop sign, I slow down oh, if I God. see a speed limit. And if I see a stop sign, I just put my brakes on and mm -hmm. stop. Oh, very good. And let's remember that, okay? Everyone keep that in your mind over there. Just what Sipa C. Claire said, that when we're out on the roads, so well, there are signs and there are ways for us to see whether or not something is or isn't safe. Okay, we're going to try to find uh, different ways of figuring that out and finding that out. So great thinking. Okay, let's hear from, we're going to hear from Kanya and then from Kanya. Yes, Kanya. Yes, how do you stay safe on the internet? By my mom seeing what I'm doing on the internet. Good, yes. You should always let your moms and dads and aunties and uncles and whoever is there with you and granny actually see what you're doing on the internet. Share it with them and let them know. Oh, Ways. Fantastic thinking. Okay, uh, let's just move on just a little bit for now. So what we are going to do is we're going to come up with a way for us to remember how we can be safe 
on the internet. And we're going to remember that with four letters. S, A, F, E, or S, A, F, E. And that spells safe. You're right. Absolutely right. Okay, let's spell it together one more time. We're going to go S, A, F, E. Okay, so the first one is S or S. And S stands for stop and think. So whenever you want to use the internet, the first thing that you do is, that's it, stop and think. So S stands for stop and think. And what, what do we need to think about? Well, just what you guys have been saying, you've been saying it so nicely. And that is, uh, are there any warning signs that show me that this is maybe not good? Okay, we're going to come back to that just before the end. We should have time to. But what we need to think when we stop and think is, was this made for me? Or was this made for a grown-up? Or was this made for older boys and girls? We need to stop and think, was this made for me? And how does it make me feel? Because we know when we, when we see something, maybe an advert pops up, and it makes us feel yucky and ugly, but there's a part of us that just wants to kind of see more. No, we've got to stop and think. Was this made for me? And if it makes me feel ugly, then we get up, we put the device down and you just walk straight to granny or mommy or daddy or onto your uncle, whoever is there with you, a grown up who you trust, who is there with you. So S stands for stop and think. Was this for, made for me? And how does it make me feel? Okay, let's hear from, uh, we're going to hear from me first. Yes. Good morning once again. What do you want to add about our s stop and think? Anything on that one? No, not on that one. Okay. Uh, so basically, yes. What did you want to speak about when we say s stop and think? If somebody is not looking, if there's a stop sign right in front of them, mm -hmm. I would say, wake up, and then before he stops, he sees me driving in the road, and then he stops himself. But if this person can not see properly, he just mm -hmm. slams into a car when He's supposed to stop. Whoa, absolutely. So when we want to use the internet, we've got to think in the same way. We've got to stop and think because that's how we're going to stay safe. Stop and think. Was this made for me? And how does it make me feel? Very good thinking. I, I, I love that analogy, that comparison that you are making. Okay, Rafil, yes. What do you have to say about stop and think? Can I please mm -hmm. go to the bathroom? Yes, of course you may. You don't need to ask, but thank you very much for doing so. And then refill where Marima. Yes, refill where Marima. What do you have to say about stop and think? Are you there with us? Oh, okay, we lost you over there. Okay, so S stands for stop. Um, um, yes, um, Marima, refill where. If somebody's not with you, um. Uh -huh. And you're watching something bad, mm. you can just go away, right? Yes, absolutely. You know, you just, you, if, if it's on a, a cell phone or wherever it is, and maybe mommy and daddy just went out of the room, you know, to, to, to quickly go do something else and something ugly pops up, you close it, you put it down and you walk away. That is, that is very, very good thinking. Well done on that. Okay, so we've got S for stop and think. A or A stands for ask. Ask if you can use it and ask for help. No one is going to get very, very cross with you if you ask if you can use something. So if you want to ask if you can watch a video or ask if the, the website that you're wanting to go or the research, the, the discovering and exploring that you want to do, you can ask if it is for you and if it's safe. Because then you can do that with mommy and daddy or auntie or uncle or whoever's with you who you 
trust. And that's maybe not always your, your brother or sister. He's just a little bit older than you. That's why it's in adult. So ask if you can use it and ask for help. I love that you guys have been saying these as well. Okay, let's see if we can remember the first two together. So it's S stands for stop and think. That's right. And A stands for good. Ask. Ask if you can use it and ask for help. We want to help. And there's so many cool things on the internet. We just want to make sure that we are safe there. Okay, so we've done S and A. Now, <laughs> stands for friends. Good. Only speak to people who you know. And this isn't someone who you've just got to know while maybe playing a game or uh, just on the internet. This is somebody who you know and who your mommy and daddy knows uh, in the real world, not just on the internet. So F or F stands for friends. Only speak to people who you know in real life. Okay, so let's hear if you remember these first three. S and f. Okay, so S stands for good, stop and think. A stands for ask, yes, ask if you can use it and ask for help. And then let's see if you remember this one. F stands for yes, friends. Friends, so we only speak to people who we know in real life and who are mommy and daddy or granny or auntie or uncle, the, 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 the adults who we trust, only someone who they know as well. Okay, so that's a really great way to stay safe. Before we go on to the E or the E, we've got two hands up. Let's hear from Super Cicle. Yes, Super Cicle, what would you like to, to add to that? And if you see a warning, you just Go away from it, and then you can, you just go to the side of the road and you continue going. If okay. you see lots of cars coming through, you mm -hmm. have to stop and see those cars in the room. And if you're driving a train, the train yeah. will not stop that quick. So oh. you have to slow down before you even um, enter. If you see good. the danger sign ahead, but if you good, good. Sorry, I'm just going to stop you just over there. But I love that analogy. I love how you're saying, you know, we've got to. Uh, if if it looks like it's dangerous, then just like what we're saying here, we've got to stop and think, and we've got to ask for help so that we can be safe. And then we've got to only do so with friends, with people who we know. Okay, we've got a few hands up. Let's go through them. Yes, Kanya. Tanya, what would you like to add? I, get, I was getting last time. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I was I was getting into trouble. I <gasps> I just took my granny, my granny's phone, and I I went into the internet to yes. play wrong thing. Oh boy, okay, and so maybe that wasn't very safe to do and if your granny yeah, I mean, you said you got in trouble and that could be because granny is very wise and she knows hey that's not safe for you she wants to protect you and make sure that you're looked after online that you have a, the, the best possible experience with the internet um, because if you're going on and, and doing stuff that isn't made for you it can make you feel yucky or ugly or be unsafe for you. Okay, let's hear from me. <laughs> M greater than E. M greater yes. than E. Yes. Nope. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, sorry, we lost you over there. Okay, so let's hear from Rafil Way. Yes, Rafil Way. What do you have to say about being safe on the internet? Um, if like you 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 see something bad mm -hmm. and you can just um you, you you move your the computer so you don't get tainted 
Yes, wow, that takes a lot of self-control. You know, there are a lot of adults who still struggle with that. But if they had started practicing as early as you guys with stopping and thinking, asking if you can use it and if it is safe, uh, only speaking to people that they know online, and, and then we'll get to the last one in just a moment, well, then maybe that would be easier. I think even just that first one, the s stop and think. Is this a good idea and how does it make me feel? Whoa, that would make a big difference if everyone did that. Okay, Paul, let's hear from you. Yes, what do you have to say about being safe online? Let's try getting myself to go off YouTube. Oh, sorry, please say again. I took my tablet to go off YouTube so I don't, mm -hmm. so I be safe online. Good, yes, because something like YouTube isn't just made for boys and girls. It's not just made for you. They, they have a special app that is just for kids, that is just for younger boys and girls. But there are some things on YouTube that are made for, for adults which then could not be very nice for you. And it could show you some things that are, that are ugly and then that, that stick in your brain and make you feel ugly or scared or, or something like that. So I think you're absolutely right in doing that. Okay, let's hear from Sibesikli and then Audrey, and then we will carry on so we can finish off uh, our acronym SAFE. Yes, Sibesikli, what do you have to say about being safe online? If, you, if your train is a runaway, that means you can't stop the train in time. If one touch of the buffer, it falls right in the hole. Whoa, and that would be absolutely terrible. Okay, so we need to be able to, if we think that we are kind of like the trains that are just moving along, we need to have signs and ways of knowing how can we stop and make sure that we are using the, the, the tracks, if we're a train, which will be the internet for us, how do we use it safely? What are our signs? Good thinking. Yes, Audrey, what do you have to say about being safe online? Sorry, Audrey, can you say a little bit louder, please? Don't post. Fantastic. Yes, absolutely. You never put photos of yourself on the internet. Very, very good. Okay, so let's make sure that we remember our four things because we haven't done the last one yet. So let's try our first three. Okay, if we want to stay safe on the internet, S stands for good. Stop and think. Was this made for me? How does it make me feel? A stands for ask if you can use it and ask for help. F stands for friends. Only speak to people you know online. And then E or E stands for everyone together. Now, this is a really, really important one because when we use the internet, we've got to realize that the internet isn't just for us and for us to have fun. How can we use the internet so that everyone can play and everyone can use it, okay? So that's a really good one to remember that we have got to make sure that everyone can use it together, that we are thinking of others. You know, if we're playing a game online with our friends and our mommy and daddy are there, we're making sure that we're not saying ugly words to them or making them feel bad about playing. We have to think about other people, about everyone, as we use the internet. Oh, very, very good. Okay, so let's quickly say it together through once. And then I want to hear from you guys if you have been able to remember these four and if you're going to remember how to be safe online. Okay, so S stands for stop and think. Yes, was this made for me? A stands for ask if you can use it. F stands for friends. Only speak to people who you know in real life. And E stands for everyone together what what you do what you do on the internet it affects other people we are all in this together okay so now i want to ask you who remembers these 
for off by heart. Do you think you know it? What does SAF and E stand for? Okay, so I'm just going to hear, I'm not sure if Kanya and Sibirisikli want to say that just yet, but let's hear what they have to say. Let's start with Kanya. Yes, Kanya. Do you remember what, how to stay safe online now, or did you want to say something else? You mustn't send people you don't know your location. Yes, absolutely fantastic. That is so 100% right. In fact, you shouldn't be talking to anyone who you don't know. That's our for friends. And you don't, if they say, hey, where are you? You know, something like that pops up uh, on the screen. Then you stop and you think, whoa, that's not good. And then you go in, ask a parent or an adult who you trust for help. That is such a brilliant point. Thank you so much for that. Okay, let's hear if Kaylee remembers what SAFE stands for. S-F-A. Yes, Kaylee, good morning. I know all four. Yes, it's here. That starts with stop and think and feel what it feels like. Oh. And then the um, A starts for ask. Oh. And first is for friends and it mm -hmm. is for everyone. Wowzers, trousers. That is brilliant. Well done on remembering those. And if you use them, then you are going to be able to stay safe online. Okay, we have time to hear from one or two more people before we finish off. So yes, refill where? Refill where? Do you remember them? Can you remember yes. all four? Oh, let's hear. Um, stop and think. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, ask Good. for permission to watch. Mm -hmm. Um, and then and F or is friends. Good. And E or E is for everyone. Good. Yes, everyone. We need to think about other people as well when we use the internet. So we're all having a good time and we want to help each other with that. Okay, let's hear from Sipesikle. Yes, Sipesikle. Do you remember? Safe. What does it stand for? It's the warning sign and you are in the broken bridge. You could just reverse your train and if if one wheel, if one heavy wheel touches mm -hmm. the broken bridge, the oh, whole no. train falls right in the Whoa, way. so yes, so just like driving a train or using a train, we've got to be so super safe. Okay, last one for this morning. Let's hear from Kanya. Yes, Kanya, do you remember how to stay safe online? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How? What does it stand so, for? It's stop, the stop, and yeah. think, think good. and ask, ask is for ask and ask good and or if it's for, it's for friends and yes. if it's for if, uh, everyone. Good. Well done. Oh, I hope that's going to help you so much with staying safe online. And remember that at any point when you are on a website, you've got to think about it just like how you've been saying red light, orange light or green light. Red means we should stop straight away. So if you see an advert or an ugly video or something pop up, you stop and you just walk away. Orange is if you're not sure. So maybe you are on a website where you're learning and making like Scratch Junior and then you see something that you're not sure of. Well, then you check. You ask for ask for help. And green, green is, will be for something like Scratch Junior where you know, hey, this is safe. Uh, my mommy or daddy or granny or auntie, uncle, they, they know that I'm using this. They're here with me. This is safe. Okay. 
So that's going to be pretty much it for our session. I do just want to remind you once again, for those of us who joined just a little bit late, that tomorrow from 3 until 4 p.m., we are going to have these really special, amazing uh, speakers. Uh, or sorry, or they're going to speak for a bit and they are going to join us and hear what we've been doing and all what we've been learning. I've even asked a few of you guys to help with that, to join in, and you can tell them what you've learned. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much once again for joining us from Dennis and I and everyone else. Remember to stay safe online and we'll see you tomorrow for our last, <laughs> our last session together where we'll do some coding and some recapping of where we've gone. Thank you and goodbye.